Police Scotland, PC J Greer, faces dismissal from the force after pleading guilty to a gun charge. Now, to be fair, the gun was a pellet gun. The same, pretty much, as I used to have as a kid. Well, one that I shared with my brothers. What we used to call a 2-2 or a .22 with the tiny mushroom-like pellets that are pretty much no good for anything other than a bit of target practice or shooting rats. Thirty-year-old Jay Greer appeared at Kilmarnock Sheriff Court on Monday this week to face the firearms charge of not holding a license for the pellet gun and a fraud charge for another matter. It's important to note that while I don't agree with ending up in court over a point two two, the law does not make a distinction between a point two two air rifle and the more high-powered guns that use gunpowder. These are all classed as firearms for which there are around 38 different offences. The weapon in question is said to have been an SMK air rifle, which was said to have been stashed in a garage of his home that he shared with his wife. The fraud charge he faced was one for lying to a finance company to obtain a loan in his wife's name, apparently nothing to do with the gun charge, as it was said to have been a loan in order to buy a guitar. That charge he pleaded not guilty to, and that plea was accepted by the court. That means the only charge that he is now worried about is that of the firearm. It appears that the charges come about after his wife, or rather former wife, is said to have grasped him up to the police back in 2018. In a bid to save his career, his lawyer asked the judge for an absolute discharge to be imposed, which would see him not receive a conviction and possibly allow him to keep his job. The prosecutor explained, the accused and the witness, Greer's estranged wife, were previously husband and wife. The witness, Greer's estranged wife, was in contact with officers of Police Scotland in relation to what was formally charge one, the fraud charge. On October the 2nd, 2018, she attended a police station with a gun, which had been found by her father. It was found within a secure garage at what was the former marital home. She advised that the accused had a hobby and fully believed it to be his. She had handed it in on the advice of officers that she had spoken to in respect of another matter. Now, Greer did admit possessing the gun between July 2000, between July 22nd, 2017 and October 2nd, 2018 without holding an air weapon certificate. Greer ultimately admitted breaking section 2-1 of the air, air, air weapon... Blah, 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 blah. Greer ultimately admitted breaking section 2-1 of the Air Weapons and License in Scotland Act 2015. His brief told the court that he had purchased this in 2013 but never used it. There was no ammunition found with it. He had put it into the garage with other items. It was essentially used as a dumping ground and he simply forgot about it after that. It was inside a bag on top of a beam in the garage. He'd brought it with a view to joining a gun club. He didn't follow through with it, so it's actually never been used. I have a number of character references from colleagues and superiors, as well as managers, past and present. She asked Sheriff Michael Hannan to consider imposing an absolute discharge, saying that she had asked Police Scotland to provide a letter on how a conviction might impact his career over fears he could lose his job by becoming a convicted criminal. However, Police Scotland are unable to give that letter due to ongoing disciplinary proceedings. Sheriff Hannan said the acceptance of the offence will be recorded. I will not record it as a conviction as yet. I will continue consideration of an absolute discharge until the next occasion for the gun to be in a court for consideration as well. 30-year-old Police Scotland PC Jay Greer, who has served with Police Scotland for 10 years in Paisley, Refrenrushia, was probably pronounced wrong, We'll find out just what the court decides to do with him in August as he was released on bail until his next appearance.